on the flag. Uh, Jeb on Paul. Um, zombie power. Anyway, get into that. Okay, I can't even see how to get Jeb back in, and considering how the land was acting when he was attached to it, that could be a bad sign. Oh, 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 whoa. Hmm. Oh, time warp, shoot. Uh, were, were we on time warp through the entire landing? That could explain some stuff. Well, I can't explain that much, actually. Okay, board. I can't see it. Okay. All right. Um, I reached for my joystick because wouldn't it be nice if I could use that? Okay, we are upright. Okay, go. Do need to get into the same orbit as our pod. Which is not that. <laughs> That's not the same orbit. Um, west. Let's go west. Okay, we'll start off with that. Up we go. At least the uh, time warp restrictions around Paul aren't too bad. Oh, just as I was praising the time warp restrictions. I'm not in that much of a hurry. Oh, that electric charge is worrisome, though. I have more Delta V than electric charge. So I guess we'll try to meet up with it quicker. We should be able to turn off the core and maybe... Let me just disable that. Maybe that'll help our power situation. Yeah. We have to dock to a vessel that doesn't have control though and we don't have RCS so this is going to be interesting and our docking ports off to one side I don't know how that happened but that's that's another thing no oh, thrust limit this terrier that might help with our docking maneuvers later I mean on the bright side it seems like it can dock from a great distance at weird angles but that might be a little bit unpredictable. Camera's changing quite a lot too. We're right at the pole then. I want to get away from the pole so the camera doesn't constantly change on me. The pole of Paul. It is a powerful pole indeed. Okay, but the velocity vector can can it stop going all over the place? Honestly. We're just turning, it shouldn't be changing at all. That's just wrong. And it makes it harder too. Considering I have no RCS ports. But even the RCS ports on the the pod there, which it does have RCS ports. We can't use them because there's no... Oh, maybe I could just reverse... I could just get Jeb in there, couldn't I? But then, even its RCS ports are messed up. But yeah, that's a better plan. I can just RC, uh, send Jeb over. This has a controller, after all. Okay, Jeb... Jeb always causes this to toss all over the place, though. Jeb is very weighty. This has RCS, but its ports don't work properly. Only some like to fire. I mean, I, I guess maybe they got broken in the aerodynamic stuff, but it's not clear to me and I wasn't told. So... But, I mean, is it wrong to have them sticking out? I mean, that's exactly how Apollo had it. Well, I really shouldn't have the antenna here with that 
support like that. But uh, besides that, okay, you. Uh, let's have control enabled now. I guess we can do that. Oh, okay. Okay, you didn't have to give me the flight report like we just destroyed things. <laughs> It's a little bit awkward because the docking port is for some reason off to one side, but uh, fine. It's it's fine. We're gonna get rid of the lander. So Jeb's already in the pod. We just need to transfer the fuel. All right, that's fine. Very little left over in the lander. We're not using it again. Off it goes. Off. It... Okay. Uh, undock. Okay. Well, as lo as long as one thing undocks. Okay, so that's okay, we're topped off. This is ready to be a lathe rescue vessel, but we're not going there yet. We're not going there yet. We'll keep it in orbit of Paul so it doesn't get disturbed in its orbit. I don't want to crash into it again, so I'm just going to temporarily get us into a slightly different orbit. Not that that's likely to happen, but you never know. You never know. And let's go over to the space plane, wherever it happens to be, and that's head for Lathe. Which is a dangerous thing, because Lathe doesn't like space planes. <laughs> Lathe, Lathe, I don't even know which, is 46 or 48 the actual pod? Which one's the pod and which one's the lander? I don't know. I wish naming was a little bit better. Anyway, that's the shuttle. Let's control that and get it over to Lathe now. Okay, so we need to do a little adjustment here so that we actually encounter Leif. Not that it's gonna tell me that I'm encountering Leif. But so those dots are coming together. Just two meters per second will do the trick. Oh, but I, I think there was already a uh, setup, but I'll take the two meters per second. There's Jewel. No, we can do this early, it's fine. But that's probably already too much. <laughs> uh, maybe I should just do more. Okay, so there's a periapsis just outside the atmosphere there. Uh, yeah, well, we're crashing into it is the problem. All oh, right, wait. That's oh look, we're encountering Tylo as well, but that's after the Leif PE, so it's okay, I guess. Tylo likes. I mean, it's not that hard to get Tylo encounters. Uh, okay. Well, we should probably save it here. This is where things go horribly wrong. So, um, oh right, the location is in the polar location. Uh oh. Oh gosh. See, already we're in trouble. Probably it's gotta be hard to line up with the other shuttle too. We'll worry about that after a launch back up. It's down here. I guess that's okay. Alright, let's do this. We're coming in so nice and equatorial, but no, the place has to be some weird place in the south. Eventually we'll want to transfer all the fuel into the body. This I should have done earlier at a mid-course correction, but I completely forgot that the location was supposed to be in the south. Well, that's not too bad. That's, that doesn't cost as much as the other one took in order to capture. So we want it to be mild when it hits the atmosphere. Ah, the periapsis is a little bit low. We're not picking up the other Kerbal until after we do the landing and get back into orbit, then we'll pick up the other Kerbal. There's no point rendezvousing ahead of time. I mean, in a pinch, the other pod, the Paul-like pod, can pick up the Kerbal and rescue the Kerbal too, so... We need to land there, so that's the first obstacle. The second obstacle is, of course, the atmosphere of Lathe. But we've got this space plane with its heavy stabilizers, actually. And hopefully it can withstand the heat. 
We are about to find out, but I'm gonna save again first. Okay, so we're gonna wait until that location is under our orbit. Hmm, is it this orbit? I think we should probably try to come down this orbit. Oh, 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 whatever it was doing there, I didn't like it. Yeah, we're a little bit off. Maybe one more orbit would do, but we should probably be able to glide in. We basically are looking at that stretch as our runway. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully. Um... But what periapsis should we set to make sure that we go there? Probably I'm going to do guess and check and start it up again to get it right. Our leaf periapsis is already pretty low, so it really depends on how soupy that leaf atmosphere really is. I'm going to try to deorbit uh, 90 degrees away from it, and we're gonna dump these tanks into leaf's atmosphere. Because we absolutely can't carry those tanks into the atmosphere. We probably should have dumped them a long time ago. Yeah. Would have been more efficient to dump, uh, to dump them earlier, but... Okay. Uh, Alright. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. We have encountered Leif's atmosphere again. Now it's certainly having an effect on our orbit. Compared to Kerbin's atmosphere, it's slowing us down a lot sooner. And we've maxed out our pitch, so we can't keep a 40 degree pitch. Uh oh, heating. Uh, that's that tank. Oh, come on. Come on, the wings. Let the wings protect it, please. But th this sort of thing happened in Kerbin's atmosphere, too. It cools off eventually, right? Right? Please? That That's not good. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, okay. We will have to try again with a different tactic. We're gonna retro burn most of the speed off so that we're actually going very slow. This is not gonna be great, but that's why we have the rescue pod potentially. Okay. Leave. It's a waste of Delta V and everything. And it could overstress our wings. And we also need to turn prograde before we hit the atmosphere, which is going to be soon. Okay, we're going to try that. Prograde, please, quickly. Quicker. Now, only 1,000 meters per second now. So the heating should be much, much less. Coming in like that, we just need to hang a right. Trying to tell the game this. This is my plan. Please let it work this time. Now well, we've gone a little bit past, but I was sort of expected. Oh, I don't want to go up though. Ugh. Is that it? I don't know. There's a fuzzy bit there. Is that what we're going for? This doesn't look like a nice runway anymore. It looked a lot better on the map than it does as a fly. Oh yeah, that, there it is. Chalkin's gonna have to do some walking, I'm sure. That doesn't look like a good place to land particularly. Okay, it came from Lathe. No, we came- well no, it came from- no, that's true. We came from somewhere else. We came to Lathe. You can see it from here, from 14 kilometers away. I wish I had air brakes. 
Gotta try and come in for a landing using this as our landing strip. But those dunes, the dunes at Leif are always something that caused me to die. We certainly don't want to use any fuel for a landing if we can help it. We're going along the dunes, hopefully that helps. It's very dramatic music, like it's gonna kill me. The drums. Okay, we gotta start slowing down here. Landing gear down. Oh, 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 I paused for a sec. It made me think it was gonna rip apart the wings like it's done so many times before. I uh, gotta go now. I wanna land slower, but I've gotta try and land now. They've got squeaking tires now. Wow, one kilometer away is still that huge. No wonder we want to visit it. Okay, do we have parking brakes? Alright, that, that was probably the easiest landing on Leif I've ever done. Shift to the ladder. Okay, Shelkin. Leif Shores, no kidding. Shulkin on Leif Shores. Oh, on Leif, fine. I don't have enough text there. Um, can you believe that landing? Okay, run surface survey. This choppy, the, the music and sound is choppy right now for some reason. Okay, run crew observation. Hello. Anyway, uh, we have a long way to go. Oh, we have to watch out when we're time warping. That doesn't cause our craft to like flip over. You see, it just said uh, Leif shuttle on a crashing trajectory. Did you see that? Look at its landing gear. It's no longer planted on the ground. Hmm. Now, let's not time warp while we're that close to it. Okay, I'll quick save again. And not quick save, I'll save again. I don't trust the quick saves ever. I had, in the earlier versions of KSP2, I had saves that didn't quite make it. The quick saves. Taxi closer? Nah. That's dangerous too. Oh, what happened to our running sound? Our funny running sound is it. I guess it decided that it's done. Um. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay. 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 When the camera goes like that, I know we're close enough. <laughs> Those are the rules. Okay. Uh. No. It's we're not close enough. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh. The Kerbal's in a weird state. Okay, I can't jump. Okay, well, we're just gonna do that again because maybe, I don't know, the Kerbal's in a weird state. So, we're gonna go to tracking station and come back. Clearly Zenning went into T-pose and then it zoomed out. Oh, well, no, yeah, no, still there. Quick loads. Just watch. I'll do this quick save and quick load and then our shuttle will be upside down. <laughs> She'll be fine. Okay. So that's one of those quick saving... Nope, it happened again. Fine. Let me try it again. Um, nope. It doesn't help actually. So... I'm gonna load the actual good save and go back to where we were there. You know, taxiing doesn't seem like a bad idea, but we'll, we'll just take it slow. This time I won't right-click until we're much closer, I guess. So this was the mission. No, th this was the Paul mission. Let me just submit that. Okay, eyebrows done. Okay, lawn chair, fine. Alright. There's artificial superpowers. Oh, 
perform a radiation observation on lowlands of Paul. Uh, they should have told me that when I had the lander ready there. We could have landed it again on there. Oh well. Uh, now the lander has been abandoned, so... Sample report of the strange creature, that's uh, So we need a sample report of it. And we weren't close enough last time. I guess Shelkin's gonna have to do some swimming. I don't know, this, this place looks like it's the closest point to the shore. But that's smoothest, so if Shelkin actually has to climb onto it, that's the best place. Uh, I'm gonna go over there. It's probably a better bet. Besides, the little nail-like things, protrusions, or teeth, definitely teeth, uh, seem like they might be more interesting. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Troubles go a lot faster in water. Oh no, it's ended up in a crashing trajectory anyway. I don't know if it's okay yet uh, or not. Okay. Okay, uh. Lathe. Okay, come on. Megalophysicus Rex. Okay. Megalophysicus Rex. 